In this video, I'm going to ask the question, is it ever too late to turn to Jesus? Now, who am I and why should you care about what I have to say? On October 20th, 2020, I had a visitation from the soul of Jesus when I was having a shower at my old man's house. Shortly after, I started to remember who I was on the other side as a soul. And on April 8th, 2021, I was chilling in Vancouver on Third Beach with a buddy when my soul left my body and I went into the presence of the soul of Jesus who was standing next to the sun in the 12th dimension. And one thing that I've come to learn after all my visitations is that we really can't fathom the amount of love that Jesus has for us and just everything in general. In fact, if he was to appear to you right now as a soul, you'd most likely want to drop down to the ground and start crying. So is it ever too late to turn to Jesus? As I started to remember who I was on the other side, all of a sudden it started to make sense as to why I started crossing paths with certain individuals in this lifetime. I started interacting with people and bringing them to shamans that I knew for healing. And afterwards the shaman would tell me, you know, a couple of the individuals I brought to them had some of the most demonic dark attachments that they had ever come across in their entire life including a being whose soul was the reincarnation of Hitler. Well, the more stuff that comes out with P. Diddy, the more I'm starting to realize why I wasn't gonna meet a rock star and got to hang out with Snoop Dogg. My energy was called to be in the presence of certain individuals. What I started to notice was that a lot of these individuals had a feeling of having gone too far and healing and forgiveness being out of reach. But the truth is, the moment you want to change your life and ask Jesus for help and forgiveness and to open up your heart, you know, Jesus loves you regardless. But what's going to happen is, is you're going to stop this negative karmic cycle. You know, if you want to continue down a dark path, not only are you going to receive that kind of energy in the physical, but you're going to lower your vibration, which gets you a lower landing in the afterlife. And if you understood hell like I did, it's multi-layered, you know, four visitations from Lucifer and a fallen angel attached to me. Hell might not be forever, but you know, you don't want to be in the bottom basement of hell, which I call the penthouse. You know, the more you raise your vibration, the happier you're going to be regardless of where you're going up or down. So it's never too late, you know, couldn't have got to where I am today if it wasn't for all the help I received after praying to Jesus. So it's never too late, regardless of what you've done. You can change your life right now, stop that negative cycle, perhaps get a better landing spot in the afterlife. Eternity is a long time. I mean, there's going to come a point in your life where you decide that this negative path is no longer for you. It's just how long do you want to keep it rolling? That's all I got. Hit the like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.